Hello dear people, welcome back to my channel. Deb here. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about the last of my Make 9 that I mentioned in my last video. And uh, it wasn't a total success, but I truly love the result. Um, so I guess that's a success, though plenty of mistakes were made along the way. I made a size 18 at the shoulders, a 20 GH at the bust and a 22 at the front waist and a 24 at the back waist. To so give myself I, have been, extra ease. I have been tempted to make this dress because so many bigger people have made this dress and absolutely loved it. And I guess I wanted to know what all the fuss was about. And also I kind of, I don't wear a lot of dresses and that's not because I don't like dresses. I really like to explore my feminine side. It's just that often I find it difficult to find dresses to fit me properly. First thing I probably ever truly made a muslin muslin, not just a, a wearable muslin. In a way, everything I make is a wearable muslin since I buy pretty much all my fabrics from charity shops. But this time I actually did a really careful measuring of the bodice and uh, decided that I would make it up and I'll insert some pictures here. The only adjustment I think I made to the pattern was that I lengthened the bodice, I lengthened it an inch above the bust and I lengthened the bodice another inch below the bust which does kind of seem a lot and I think possibly they did mean for the for the for the waist not to be as low as I've got mine but I feel more comfortable with my waist a bit lower. I don't like things that seem to start from directly under underneath my bust. Um, yeah, overall it wasn't a difficult sew, but I did manage, first time I've ever lined anything, and I did actually manage to get the bodice inside out, um, inside, so how I managed to do that I don't know. And oh, one thing I forgot to say is I omitted to put in the zip, that was another tip I kind of picked up from the plus size sewing community that you didn't necessarily need a zip. The the zip was quite is quite unnecessary. But what I did do, I did make some changes to the dress. So first of all, one thing I made that, that was different was in my muslin, of course it's I I did ask my husband if he could see how it fitted in the back. I was kind of wondered if it had a bit too much back neck space and then when I made the dress I realised it was much too big at the back of the neck and it was gaping out so I had to, if I can turn around maybe you can see, I had to sort of put a faux fold and button in there. So that's the slap happy bit. Um, the other thing I did was when I made the the muslin bodice and sat down in it, I thought, mm, don't know if I'm going to find that a bit restrictive, which is entirely a personal choice thing. I think you kind of get used to wearing elastic waists and you know unstructured clothes so much that you find it quite hard to wear very structured clothes. Um, so what I did was, and in fact. Jenny here, who's here from Kashmirette, she wrote a blog post which I'll try and put below about how you, um, how many bigger people when they sit down, they, you know, obviously your fat compresses up and that means that your waist expands and that to make your, to, to be clear about that and make your waist a bit bigger and maybe put some elastic in. So what I did was I actually made the waist bigger size than I needed at the back and even made the back skirt a little bit bigger and then I put in some elastic so I'll just try and show you that if I can let's hope it works the 
the result is very comfortable. Probably doesn't look as quite as nice as the original dress should look. I'm going to make another one and I might make it with a little less room in the waist, but I'm not sorry that I made the room that I've got. So I made this dress out of a very, very fine cotton and I was just going to use this one, but then when I dis discovered just how thin it was, and of course you it's a lined bodice anyway, so I thought, well, I'll line the skirt as well. And then, of course, one thing I hadn't done was make the skirt a bit longer. And what you can see is... Which is a feature I actually really like. I also made the cap sleeve, which the Upton dress, funnily enough, comes without any sleeves at all, as you can see on the envelope. And considering I think it was an $18 pattern, to not even have any sleeves seems not great. But I did buy it on some on one of their rare specials and then I bought a sleeve expansion pack later. And uh, one of so it's got a few different sleeves, but it had this cap sleeve which would have originally been this long and then I extended it longer by putting this black on top of it and I must admit I do much prefer it with the cap sleeve this long. To be honest if it was just this long I don't think it would feel like it was very suitable for work. So but all in all I guess yeah I love the dress I'll show you some footage of it now and I feel like it's bringing out some inner femininity that I haven't seen for a long time. So I'll just put that bit of footage in. So would I recommend this pattern? Oh, absolutely. Um, Next time I will do fix this back business, I probably won't put a zip in the next one. I will still put a little bit more ease in the waist somehow, maybe not quite as much as this one. And I will lengthen the dress so that it's as long as the back black version, so I guess two inches longer. Which is actually quite a lot, isn't it, when you think about it? I lengthened the bodice by two inches and then the dress by two inches. That's, that's a big lengthening, but then I am five foot eight. So I guess, yep, but all in all, really, really happy with this make and um, yeah, I can recommend the pattern. You, you got to give this to Cashmere. I mean, when I made this muslin, apart from lengthening the bodice so that it, you know, the, 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 the whole bust was lower and then lengthening again, I think really uh, there are probably wouldn't be many other pattern companies I could make up a bodice with so little adjustment but now that I've adjust, got an adjusted pattern I plan to trace it off and I'll use that then as something to compare compare you know other patterns to to make sure that they fit me across the bust um, it's just marvelous to have something that you know actually fits across the bust without being tight oh. so I guess cashmere wrap patterns are worth it for that not many pattern companies design with cup sizes up to G and H so I guess you get what you pay for. Okay well that's my lot for today I uh, hope you enjoyed this video um, I'd appreciate if you want to follow me um, I'm not going to ever probably be an extremely professional or regular poster I just like being part of the sewing community so and I really appreciate all people who subscribe to me and um, put some comments below because I love to see, I love to get your feedback and I love to be part of the sewing community. That's all I can say. So uh, yeah, talk to you again soon. Um, bye.